I'm Jake Boothby, Assistant Chief of the Central Matsu Fire Department. Uh, we're located in Wasilla, Alaska. We uh, serve about 70,000 people, you know, over 140 square miles with eight stations. Uh, these are our new pumper tenders. Um, we chose a pumper tender because we have lots of rural area. We're about 40 miles outside of Anchorage, Alaska. We have long response times. We're a combination department. So it's important for us to get large volumes of water with our initial response. So that's why we go with pumper tenders. We used the Enforcer cab because it offered uh, all the benefits that we needed, saved us a little bit of weight and has all the room that we need to have a, a six person engine for a pumper crew. Uh, these trucks carry 2000 gallons of water, compressed air foam. The, our pumper tenders also carry light rescue tools. So we have large water capacity, uh, calves and rescue on this truck. So we chose to do a, a number of extra compartment space in here because of uh, our multi-mission for this rig. We have to carry a lot of extra stuff so we have room for guys' wildland gear up on the top there, our medical gear, light rescue gear. Fairly typical here, we run with uh, two inch and three quarter cross lays and a pre-mounted, pre-connected uh, blitz fire on a two and a half that we can use for a quick attack. Husky foam system, compressed air foam. Spare bottles all over the truck, so we have lots of extra space for spare bottles. Typical tool boards, we like our tool boards to swing out and release so that we can keep our tools mounted to them and take them if we have to walk up to a scene. Because of the, it's a pumper tender, we also have our, our pop-out dump chutes here. So we have to do water shuttles, dumping into portable tanks. We can do that with this truck as well. So to save space, you know, for our, our pumper tender, we use a, a snap tank. So it, it, rather than have the large through tank, uh, portable tank that takes uh, up lots of space, we use snap tanks that can fit in this compartment. So we use up some more additional space. Traffic cones, maybe uh, our tire chains might go back there. Through tank ladders, storage. We'll have a, a 28 foot and a 16 foot roof ladder. Up top, we run all large diameter hose. We'll have a five inch hose bed storage up there as well as two and a half and some single inch three quarter bundle loads. So this compartment is where we store all of our rescue equipment. So these trucks are kind of a, a triple threat with the uh, water tender, the pumper capacity, and then we also carry light rescue equipment on here. So we'll have a set of hydraulics, uh, basic hand tools, and some light cribbing that we can do a, a typical vehicle extrication also from this vehicle. Additional storage space, more uh, spare bottles. Another dump chute for this side of the vehicle. Another swing out tool board to mount all of our tools to. So we have a cord reel on board here with an onboard generator. Pull out tilt down trays so we can access our tools up here. We generally keep all of our equipment up here that has battery chargers, so all of our charging stations go up here. Our saw compartments are down here, so where we keep all of our saws. So all of our uh, engines, our rescue engines and our pumper tenders are all equipped with uh, front bumper mounted turrets. These turrets give us the ability to both uh, use as pump and roll, so while 
suppressing wildland fires off the roadway or on uh, structural fires as we pull in a driveway, we can get a quick knock with the uh, bumper turret. These compartments right here, we keep, sometimes we keep uh, a small bundle of uh, inch and a half wildland hose in there or traffic cones. We have a pre-connected inch and three quarter bumper line that we keep stored here. A lot of places uh, keep their bumpers open. We like to keep ours closed because of our, our environment that we're in is, is pretty dirty in the winter months. Well, so we, uh, obviously it's dark in Alaska, so we have lots of scene lights on this truck. We went with the uh, Whalen V2, so each emergency light also has a scene light underneath it to provide for additional lighting around the truck. Uh, night scan up top, so we can have lots of scene light in the winter months when it's really dark. Uh, the, the moose light, which is unique to, to our department here. Uh, thank you for looking at our truck. Uh, we, we're really happy with it, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to putting it in service.